Good day to you, everybody. It's your old pal, Cappy Boy, and today I'm going to do something a little differently. Um, this was an idea brought to me by Gildam. Thanks, thanks you, Gildam, for this idea. Um, today we're going to take, you know, G Fuel's straight up Sonic, Sonic Rings G Fuel can, versus the powder, the peach rings. This one's, you know, same thing. But we're going to try to make this with this and we're gonna see which one tastes a little better I mean this one we're just gonna throw in my little mason jar cup thing but this one we have the shaker I should have put the seltzer in the shaker actually um but yeah we're really we're just going to I don't I don't know do I even need the shaker it's probably gonna explode everywhere but we have a seltzer can plain old polar seltzer I'm not gonna review that because it's you know, it's boring seltzer water. It's not going to have any flavor. It's just going to be bubbly water. And we're going to put this G Fuel in it. We don't really need the shaker, actually. I'm going to just stir it. So I'm going to get an open mason jar. Easy as pie. Don't need the shaker. So we're going to pour this in this. Do, 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 do. And this is just plain old polar seltzer. There's no flavoring. Like so. I'm going to take some G Fuel. Now, this is probably not 16 ounces. So the flavor of this might be a little bit. That's like one of the difficulties if you're doing like a SWOT analysis on this video. <laughs> this is probably not 16 ounces. That's only 8, right? Does it say on here? No, it's 12. Okay, so... I am doing a full scoop of G Fuel. I'm going to stir that in. I'm going to go grab a spoon real quick. This is going to be stirred, not shaken, G Fuel. Mostly, I I did find that it's a little difficult for... Oh my god, it's going to explode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So that's one of the difficulties with this, is that the seltzer is, it's not mixed in a factory, so it's a little bit more difficult. Um, another big difference you'll see coming up is that this is actually orange, and the powder is actually not breaking down so nicely with this. all over my fingers versus the sonic g fuel we can keep that in the can as long as we can because <laughs> listen to me yeah the powder is definitely not as you see it's not really breaking down so well in my stirring method here maybe i need to stir it a little bit harder no big deal let's see how the you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna live with it we're only here for the taste to see how much different these two taste. We've already covered this Sonic Peach thing. As you see, it's clear. There's also more preservatives and stuff in the actual can itself. I'm not going to go over all the um, nutrition facts and ingredients and all that nonsense. Uh, am I really going to drink two things <laughs> of G Fuel right now? Probably. So, let's see. I got the spoon. Just gonna put that over to the side. Smell wise, let's see. That smells light peach ish. They smell about the same. So, that's a good sign. That's a good sign that the, this one, I was thinking because it's way more concentrated, I guess that it would smell stronger, but no, they're about the same in scent. Uh, I'll drink this one for now, for a little bit. <clears throat> Tastes like, you know, the peach rings. A little bit heavy-handed on, like, the fake sugar taste, but that was my issue with most of the cans of G Fuel. <clears throat> they go a little harder on the um, fake sugar taste. 
Let's taste my weird Frankenstein concoction. Hmm. Actually, they're almost the same. I don't know if it's because I drank these right after each other without like a little, like water. Maybe I need a little thing of water as well. Okay. <laughs> the, um, the, the shaker. It's coming in handy right now. All right. Let's try this one first. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Versus. Honestly, there's not much of a difference. There really isn't. Um, at this point, the, you know, seltzer kind of thing is a bit flatter since they've been sitting all this time. But flavor-wise, I, I, maybe I'm just weird. Like, the can is almost the same as this. You, honestly, you couldn't really taste too much of a difference. This one tastes a little bit more concentrated, but I'm, like, taking that into account. Because there's more of a scoop in that than probably this. This is also mixed professionally with, you know, whatever machinery they have at their, you know, canning facilities or whatever. But... Flavor-wise, couldn't tell the difference, honestly. Maybe this one has a little bit more artificial sweetener in it, but it's negligible when taking both into account like that. Interesting. I honestly thought this was going to taste a lot better, but no. They taste just about the same. Well, good job, G Fuel. I guess your flavor, you know, translates. It, it's kind of weird because, like, in my, like quick look at this I said oh no the um powder probably tastes I, I think I said that this was close enough to the powder so maybe different flavors are going to have a different process but I just happen to have both of these so I can't really cover like you know phase berry or whatever I, I'm 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 impressed a little bit I'm, I'm a little bit impressed to see that you know just throwing this in seltzer water <coughs> actually worked sorry about that a little tickle in the throat because I came down the throat a little wrong. Um, yeah, very interesting flavor analysis. I guess I'm going to be super hyped on energy because I'm going to be drinking both of these now. Anyway, very cool. Very cool indeed.